guys and welcome to my channel Flame Warrior 4 in this video of issue 70 of Builder Terminator T800 we are going to be assembling two more elements of the right foot which is just here so we look like we're going to be doing a couple of toes so what we need to do is we do need to make sure that all our pieces are out by the looks of it at the moment this section at the bottom here is plastic but we are building metal parts off of this so I'm not too sure whether that ratio is a great idea considering we're doing um, plastic with metal parts off of it whether we could have probably just got away with metal um, if you guys have seen me do build the um, Ecto-1 you will see that a lot of that is pretty much metal um, all the way through which is really really good we will do a quick parts check off it doesn't look like we get a lot of stuff we will possibly need the pins and the other section that we made in the last issue so that's just there um, the pins are just here from the last issue too and it looks like we have some more of those lovely inserts that everybody likes that was a tiny bit of sarcasm right so we'll see we'll give them a chance we'll see if they work um, and we'll go from there right so I'm guessing these are all different so we will have to check these off so 70-1 is foot marked too so it's good because they are marked with numbers on them so that's not too bad so we shouldn't get it wrong so foot mark 2 is that so pretty much making up of the toe um 70 2 is marked 3 so another one of those bottom toe sections so that's the second one and then we want 70 1 which is um, those 70 3 which is marked 2 which is just here another one of those and then 70-4 which is marked 3 again so they're just marked um, 2 3 2 3 so 70-5 uh, is going to be um, the two toe end joints which just look like this and then 70-6 which is a toe joint times 2 uh, which are these funny weird shaped looking pieces here and then um, three grub screws, which are going to be, you know, the little grub screws. I think there's only two in there. Then you need the one from the last issue um, to make up three. And then we need five of the plastic sleeves. So we do have those. So that's fine. So we have five plastic sleeves. Right. So the first thing it's asking us to do, if I just move him out of the way just a moment there, so you guys can just focus on what's going on here. Uh, is we do need the Allen key again I don't have the Allen key because I have no idea where it is but I do have um, my Aurea set which is a CRV um, H2.0 so that is the one you need to do that up so you need to take 70-1 which is marked 2 so this is 70-1 marked 2 you need to make sure that you have it around the right way so the smaller section needs to sit like so and I know I'm building it upside down, but I'll turn it around to show you guys what it looks like. And then this will just need to slot. Uh, make sure we've got the right piece. So that's that one. So you need to make sure that this also says number two on it as well. And then that will just go into the bottom of that piece there. Like that. So you want to make sure it looks like this. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that down and see how it wants us to attach it. So again, it looks like we are just putting the thread through, which is going to be quite easy to do. I do like this idea. Um, I don't know why we couldn't have just done that in the first place, but I guess that's asking for too much. This doesn't seem to have a thread in it. I'm not sure why or if it's meant if I've got the wrong piece or not. That one doesn't have a thread, so maybe... That's number three, and that's number two. Okay, so you need to make sure you've got number two, the smaller one of the two, that has the thread. So two goes on two, and you have to make sure that it has the thread piece and it's facing up the right way. I do have that now, where I didn't before. It, you'll know if you've got the wrong one, because it won't have a thread in it. So it's not that difficult to work out, to be fair. That is quite loose in there. But I don't know if it's meant to be that loose, but that is through. So there you go. So that should look like that at that stage. Let's just pop that back down. So in the next part, we need to put 70-3. So 
and 70-3 is marked 2 again. So that is going to be the longer one of the two because the other ones are freeze. So we just need to pop the small end into that section there and then you want to have it so it's got the recess part there's a piece that's sort of set in you need to make sure that that's sitting on the top of how it's asking you to do it in the illustration again you will need to put one of your little um, tube sections into place just wiggle it around and it will just fall into place so that's fine and then you need to go take these little tab things the little pins from the previous um, issue and then push that in to hold that into place again I mean it feels like it's a definitely a better idea and it is really kind of holding it but whether they try to work out of there with movement I don't know whether they're going to do that or not and the fact is you get that ugly piece on the other side I don't like that that's not covered up by a cap or something I don't like that at all if you're going to go with this threaded idea let's go with the threaded idea all the way through let's not just you know skimp on some of it let's just do it on the whole thing that's what i'm thinking anyway right guys so then we need to also add the toe joint to the back of it you can't get this wrong you need to make sure that you have number two as well that will go in there at the bottom and again that's held in by one of these little rubbers that goes in there Okay, so one of the rubbers was absolutely terrible. So I just had to get rid of that. They kind of bent up at the end. So I've had to go with um, taking that out and just putting another one in place. So what I want to do is I just want to push in this little rubber insert here and hoping that that rubber will stay in place. So I can show you what I mean. I don't like the other side of this. I really, I, I can't get over the, the fact that 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 sticks out at the end. I don't like that. I like this side, this side is neat. Very nice and neat and tidy. I don't mind that. The other side is not tidy at all. Right, anyway, get my sticky arms off this again. So, um, once you're happy with it and it's in place, um, then you will just need to just put that piece with the other one. So I'm guessing we're just building these up again. And you need to make sure that they are done right. So what we need to do now is we need to make sure that, that we're happy with that. And then we move on to the next toe. Again, it looks like we're doing a very, very similar thing. So I'm going to fast forward through this and then show you that toe at the end. Because it's the same as what we just did. And I don't want to bore you guys to death. So I'm going to go fast forward building this one. And I'll be back once it's done. Okay guys, again I wasn't super happy with how these are gone in. I mean, I don't know what you guys think, but that's the other one that's made up. This bit's fine because it moves um, and it's held in by a metal uh, thread, so that's really good. These plastic inserts look horrendous coming out the other side uh, with nothing covering them up. So hopefully there's a fix for that. This one wouldn't go in very well on the toe joint and it's sticking out. And the more I move it, uh, the looser it gets. So. Uh, I'm not too sure whether I, I like that. I hope there was a fix for that at some point because that isn't great. So, But we will carry on to see what it wants us to do um, and then find out what we're going to be coming up against in the next issue. Looks like that's all it wants us to do at this stage. So once we have finished these two toes, they should look a little bit like that. So another two toes. So we should have all together with the last issue, um, there's another two. So... There you go, so there are two toes, and then these ones are on here as well. So I'm guessing when we install these toes on here, um, I'm not really sure how they're going to go to be fair. Uh, probably will just fit onto this somehow like that, over there, and then sit like that, and then go along. But how they're going to fit in there, I do not know. 
Uh, there's no thread in there, so I'm guessing they're probably hoping that we're gonna install them with uh, the the rubber bits, which I'm I'm not happy about. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what comes up. I'm sure Modern Mods will have some kind of fix for this. If the if the finger fix doesn't fit, we'll, we'll find something to uh, go in there. So there you go. So uh, Universal Soldier is what is going on about in the magazine. So that's really good. If you haven't seen that film, it's a really good film. Uh, medical advances into the Vietnam War. And then, guys, again, please join me in the next issue where we're going to continue assembling of the right foot and attach the foot to the ankle. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, that's going to be in issue 71. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yes, there. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care now. Bye-bye.